If there's one team whose future we're eager to see unfolds, that has to be Andretti. The American team is making a strong push to become the 11th team on the grid, and after Ben Mohamed Salaam tweeted that the FIA had officially begun talks for this scenario to occur, he did something that enraged the governing body. Could what Andretti just did jeopardize his own entry into F1? And what did the FIA have to say about him going behind their backs and making partnerships left and right? Ever since 2020, Andretti has made continuous pushes to enter the sport, and one couldn't help but admire his perseverance. The FIA kept throwing banana peels at him, but somehow Mario and Michael dodged all of them and are now very close to entering F1 as a separate team. What goes in their favor is the fact that popularity in the States has increased massively in the past couple of years, and that is why investors from the USA would be more than happy to invest in an all-American dream. That is the goal for Andretti as well, while adding that the first choice when it comes to the driver's pairing would be Colton Herta. He also said that he will bring lots of investors to the sport, therefore increasing the revenue of F1 and potentially increasing the prize money at the end of the season. However, although he made a move in this direction and shocked the entire F1 world, it goes without saying that the FIA is mad, because Andretti started to act like he was already part of F1. Andretti has signed a partnership with General Motors, more precisely with Cadillac, to form an all-American team for their entrance on the grid. While they won't be able to use their own engines, given the fact that General Motors hasn't signed the contract for the 2026 season's engine suppliers, like Audi did, both sides will push as much as they can to make all of the parties involved American. The dream is real, and Andretti is getting closer to realizing it with each passing day. General Motors has been closely involved in racing in the past few seasons, but this is a move that will definitely cement their interest as a close partner to one of the most elitist racing sports in the world. Michael Andretti, the CEO of Andretti Group, and the son of the former F1 champion Mario Andretti, spoke about the partnership with GM and what it means for his all-American dream, further adding, We are continuing to grow Andretti Global and its family of racing teams and always have our eyes on what's next. I feel that we are well suited to be a new team for Formula One and can bring value to the series and our partners, and excitement for the fans. I'm proud to have GM and Cadillac alongside us as we pursue this goal. GM and Andretti share a legacy born out of the love of racing. We now have the opportunity to combine our motorsport passions and dedication to innovation to build a true American F1 bid. What does this mean for the sport? Obviously, Andretti is staying true to his words as he is making investors come to the sport, ones that haven't previously been involved. This eventually means that more interest will follow, and Andretti's entrance to the sport would be a guarantee. But while the FIA gave Andretti just a slight nudge with the tweet, one couldn't help but ask, is Andretti doing this stuff all of a sudden? It's like he's gotten an urge of power in his back, and now he's acting like he's already been declared the 11th official team on the grid. There are two things that Andretti shouldn't forget while he's making these pushes to enter the grid. The first being that nothing is official yet, and the FIA hasn't given the green light as of now. And the second being that Andretti doesn't have many friends on the grid, with McLaren and Alpine being the only sides that support his entrance to the sport. With that being said, it's safe to say that Andretti has made the FIA mad, along with the team bosses, with the latter ones just waiting for more reasons to deny his entrance, if that could be possible. The FIA reacted via an announcement just hours after Andretti made the official statement that Andretti Group will pair up with General Motors. And with this announcement, the FIA reminded Andretti that he isn't the only side that is making pushes to enter the sport. If you remember, there are teams like Ford and Hyundai that would be more than happy to enter the sport, and just because Andretti is the favorite doesn't mean that he will win this battle. There is a great interest in the F1 project at this time, with a number of conversations continuing that are not as visible as others. We all want to ensure the championship remains credible and stable, and any new entrant request will be assessed on criteria to meet those objectives by all the relevant stakeholders. Any new entrant request requires the agreement of both F1 and the FIA. Still, Andretti continues to act like he has already won the 11th place on the grid, which is why he further continued to talk about the driver's lineup. Apart from Colton Herta, who is currently racing for Andretti in the IndyCar 500, and the driver that was supposed to enter F1 under murky circumstances regarding the super license, Andretti said that he wants an experienced driver that would show the way to Herta. 
We know that Andretti is close to Alonso, as the two-time world champion collaborated with Andretti Motorsport for the 2017 Indianapolis 500, and Andretti has expressed a strong interest in the Spaniard. However, Alonso is on a three-year contract with Aston Martin, and if Andretti is to enter F1 in 2026, then it seems like Alonso would be a bit too old to continue racing. But if Andretti manages to sneak up to the grid in 2024 or 2025, then apart from stirring up the whole F1 world, he'll cause some stirrups in Aston Martin, the team that has signed Alonso on a three-year deal worth $15 million per season. You'd love to be in Alonso's shoes right now, wouldn't you? But another question remains to be answered, and that's the engine supplier. With General Motors missing the deadline for the 2026 engine suppliers and the new regulations, it's inevitable that they would have to rely on another engine supplier in order to race in F1. Honda is supposed to withdraw fully from the sport in 2026, with them now being the intellectual property landlords to Red Bull who will start their fully independent program in 2026 thanks to their own powertrains. Therefore, the most logical solution for Andretti and GM would be to sign a contract with Honda, and even though they are fierce competitors in all the other fields of racing, this doesn't seem like a bad deal for Formula One's dreams at all. Honda would stay in the sport, and we've seen how strong and reliable they've been over the last two years, and Andretti would receive an engine capable of propelling them to the midfield at the very least in their first season. When talking about this matter, the CEO of General Motors, Mark Roos, added that an agreement with a current engine supplier has been made, but hasn't confirmed 100% that this is Honda. Given the fact that the rest of the engines are from Alpine, Ferrari, Mercedes, and Red Bull powertrains, we don't have any other reason to believe that it's someone other than Honda. We have signed an agreement with a power unit supplier to begin with, and then as we move forward, we bring a lot of our expertise to create things for the future as well. On the EV part of it, obviously we do have a large partnership with Honda. We also compete against Honda in series like IndyCar as well. So we have the natural respect and relationship, which is not problematic at all. We'll talk about the engine piece of this at a later date. What Andretti needs to overcome in the first season of Formula One is the underperforming threat. Team bosses don't want him entering the sport, not just because he'll take away 10% from each team at the end of the season, but also because Andretti hasn't really proven that he'll bring any value to the sport. That is something that Wolf clarified, and on top of that, Steiner said that the dilution fund for a new team's entrance, which is $200 million, is too low. According to the Haas team principal, this fund was set back in 2020, which is too low, and now with the increased costs and popularity of the sport, this needs to change. With that being said, what do you think about Andretti's deal with General Motors? Do you think that he went behind the FIA's backs and worsened his chances of entering an F1 soon? Let us know in the comments below.